When treating conditions in the lungs and chest, traditional surgery can have complications. Well, Dignity Health is here to talk about less invasive robotic surgeries. And with me is Dr. Saeed. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, um, let's talk here because I was wondering what IP is actually. So interventional pulmonology is a newer field of pulmonology. Uh, interventional pulmonologist is a lung doctor who undergoes an additional year of training in minimally invasive procedures of the lung, the lining of the lung, and the airway. So, and so with this, um, it's very important to be able to help those um, without so much of a, a major surgery, is that right? That is correct. So over the last two decades, the shift has changed from open surgeries to minimally invasive procedures. We want to provide the answers to the patient, do the procedures with the least burden on the patient. So that's the whole mantra of interventional pulmonary that we want to take care of a patient, leave uh, a minimal burden of the procedure, get the answers, do the treatments. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about what leads up to having this type of surgery. What, what causes this? So common procedures are diagnostic procedures. So um, recently, robotic bronchoscopy has made its fame in interventional pulmonary. It's a scope which has a 360 degree articulation, meaning that where we park it inside the lung or the branches of the lung, it stays there. So we use a lung GPS to navigate to the nodule which is present at the very edge of the lung. And uh, once we go close to it, we find the location with the help of other instruments like a radial ultrasound. We even have an intraoperative CT scan at Norton Thoracic Institute. So this helps us confirm where we are, biopsy the nodule, minimize the complication and give an answer. Yeah. Um, I love before we came on, you said something that was very important to you, and that was continuing learning. And that's one thing about you guys are doing with this treatment, um, is continuing learning and making sure that you're taking care of the patients and those in need, so maybe they don't have to have that big surgery if you guys can help it before it gets to that. Is that right? Absolutely. I use the word paradigm shift. We are entering into a time frame where we are changing our approach towards biopsying a nodule in the lung. Uh, changing our approach towards even treatment. Very soon, minimally invasive treatment approaches for pulmonary nodules which have cancer hiding in them uh, is going to come under FD approval. Yeah. All right, let's talk about lung cancer and some things that we need to understand that um, screening for this has changed quite a bit. We've starting to get a little younger uh, when it's important to go get screened. Yes, uh, so lung cancer, as we know, is an aggressive cancer. We want to fight it early. We want to fight it aggressively. So uh, recently, the lung cancer guidelines changed. Now, anyone who has smoked more than 20 pack years, meaning that they have smoked or are currently smoking, uh, they have age above 50, uh, and they have not quit for more than 15 years, they can be enrolled in lung cancer screening, they can talk to their pulmonologist, they can ask for our department. We actually have a lung cancer screening program at Norton Thoracic Institute. Yeah, very important. It's very interesting, you said something, that even if they stop smoking, it's still there, it's kind of hidden. That's why this, of course, screening, and of course what you do in the robotic uh, sense of it, helps get it and find it and, and take care of it. Yes, so the effect of smoking once someone has smoked can stay there for 15 years. So before we say that the risk of a person who has smoked is back to a normal person who has not smoked, uh, it takes almost 15 years. Yeah, and let's talk just about a normal person who doesn't smoke. There's still a chance of getting lung cancer and that's important to, to be screened even though I go, well, I don't smoke so I don't need to get checked. Uh, so uh, uh, it's important to know your family history. It's important to know your risk factors. Asbestos is a risk factor there. Uh, radon is another risk factor, but from a structured recommendations of screening, smoking is a main part of the screening guideline. Yeah, very important there. It's so amazing. So again, um, the breakthrough in the technology that Dignity Health is doing, especially in the institute there, to help fight this lung cancer. But the big part is, of course, don't smoke. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but the other part is, go get checked out. That is a big thing, especially if you're feeling some of those symptoms. And what could be some very quick symptoms that we could be feeling? So pulmonary nodules in the lung, uh, not all of them are cancer. It is important that we identify a suspicious nodule. Uh, things which we look at on a CAT scan or a radiograph is uh, uh, the edges are irregular or the size of the nodule is very important. Location of the nodule is very important. Once we take all this information, combine it with the patient's risk, then we make a decision whether we want to biopsy or not. All right.
I like that. Uh, another quick question, very quickly. Recovery. How is recovery after this type of uh, <laughs> surgery? Well, you won't believe it. Uh, most of our patients, they recover for one hour, go home, take it easy for one day, next day you're ready to go. Doctor, what other type of procedures do you do? So the focus of an interventional pulmonologist is to minimize a burden on a patient for diagnosing diseases of the lung, the lining of the lung and the airway. Uh, pleuroscopy, uh, it is a procedure in which a patient who has fluid in the sac around the lung and the physician who's taking care of them can't figure it out. They refer these patients to Norton Thoracic Institute. Interventional pulmonary and thoracic surgery, we collaborate in discussing these patients and finalizing a plan of care. From a diagnostic approach, we use pleuroscopy, uh, which is a scope with a camera at the tip of it. We pass it from the skin into the sac around the lung. We look at the lining of the lung from inside, the breathing muscles, and then biopsy the area of concern and give an answer to the patient. From uh, diseases of the airway, we remove tumors, we put in stents, uh, we, uh, we biopsy hard to reach uh, areas of the lung. Um, thus, the approach is to give an answer to the patient, provide the expertise of a multidisciplinary consultation at the Norton Thoracic Institute, combining interventional pulmonary, thoracic surgery, medical and radiation oncology are very closely in it with us. Wow. So it all intertwines together. All intertwines together to provide a comprehensive multidisciplinary care to our patients that are coming to Norton Thoracic Institute. Wow, that's amazing. Well, doctor, I'm so glad you stopped by here. And of course, we have information on aztv.com about more of Dignity Health's way to help fight cancer, how to prevent it, and also how to take care of you. So thank you very much, doctor. Absolutely. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Perfect. So very good.